podcasting from Woodstock, Georgia. Welcome to Soul Solutions, the show where we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs. I'm your host, author, and certified life coach, Terry Kozlowski. Hello, warriors. Together, the Soul Solutions podcast has reached an epic milestone. It's the 100th episode. Thank you so much for your support over these past two years. It's been much appreciated. Now let's start this week's episode. Episode 100, how to take action now to transform your life to be authentic. Many want to alter some aspect of their life, but the idea of transformation can seem daunting. Why? Because it involves changing what's routine for the egoic mind to deal with the unknown. Or maybe you think you're too old and set in your ways to transform your life. This would be a lie of the ego to keep you small and not create a new chapter in your life. Humans are meant to thrive, not just survive. And all you have to do to make a change is to choose to alter your mindset and take bold action. Do you want to rewrite the next phase of your life instead of allowing your egoic mind to be in control? If so, then you need to take responsibility and do the work for transformation to occur. Alter your perception that transformation is scary and instead seen as an exciting opportunity to be more intentional in what you do and how you do it. It's an occasion for growth in all areas of your life. You are the one with the power to choose a different way of living or to continue to allow your ego to keep you fearful and just getting by instead of living purposely. Transformation involves making significant and lasting changes by altering your thoughts, words, actions, and beliefs. The adjustments first occur mentally and spiritually, the inner self, before the outer world can change. Transformation is an inner work. Eight action steps for transformation. Close your eyes and imagine the life of your dreams. How would you feel? Describe your environment. Who are those supporting your growth? Visualize what your transformation looks like. Change is a choice you consciously make to become the master of your destiny. As you work on altering your mindset, letting go defense mechanisms that no longer serve you, and responding from a place of love and not fear, you'll see yourself living your best life. It's time for you to commit to your soulful self that you will do what's necessary by moving out of your comfort zone to alter your beliefs and behaviors. This commitment requires inspiration, self-discipline, self-confidence, self-forgiveness, and patience. Here are eight action steps you can take to transform your life successfully based on what I've learned on my own transformational journey. Step one, consciously choose transformation and commit. Many people choose to grow, but making a commitment and following through is where they falter. You need to have the discipline for true transformation to happen. There's an excitement when you begin. But once there's an obstacle or it gets uncomfortable, many give up. So are you the master of your destiny or a dabbler at trying new things until it gets hard? Mastery over your life requires determination, a pledge to yourself, a desire, and effort on your part. Your passion for transforming your life pushes you to achieve the goals you've set. The reason behind your desire has to sustain you when you come upon those circumstances that your ego sees negatively. Intentionally being mindful of your commitment is powerful because the only effort required is non-physical. It's in your mind and it occurs before any actions can be taken. The beginning of transformation is intent and the rest is about maintaining that resolve through persistence. Step two, letting go of things that no longer serve you. How you think determines how you perceive and operate in the world around you. When you can alter your mindset, you change the way you look at things. 
One effective way to change your beliefs is to adopt healthy habits and modify your routine. In varying your behaviors, you'll discover things that you'll need to release. Things you need to unlearn, family patterns that are harming you, or beliefs you picked up that no longer see as true for you. Things you have an unhealthy attachment to, expectations of others' reactions, and unforgiveness are some things you must release to transform your life. Accepting what is is a part of letting go of the expectations you had about a situation. When you can release your desire to change the past, you allow peace to rise from within you. This transformational peace comes from your state of being and acceptance. Step number three, transforming is action oriented. When you've improved your mindset and want your new thinking to take hold, you need to follow up with action. Just like any learning method, there's an intake of information, processing the data, and then implementation occurs. This is where you take action by altering your habits and routines and improving your life. You can start with small goals and as you see the results and overcome obstacles, you gain self-confidence. Then you can take bolder action steps because you are learning to trust the soulful whispers of your heart. This allows you to be diligent in moving forward and living differently than you did before. Implement, monitor, and evaluate along your journey. This means make the change, then observe how the variation affected your life, relationship, or emotions. Then assess if you like the new results from implementing the change. If you need to, revise the goals so every step you take is towards your dreams. Step four, transformation requires consistency. Having the information and taking some steps towards change has to be something that is done every day to allow transformation. Without consistency, your progress forward ceases. See, it's the process, not the outcome, that causes the transformation. Why? Because it's the progression that allows for your growth and development. So you need to have the diligence to stay on course every day. You're not looking for a one-time change. You want transformative experiences each day so you become more and more your authentic self in all circumstances. You need to stay the course when you're in the messy middle. Yes, you will have success and missteps. Therefore, take daily actions. This may require willpower, self-discipline, and determination on your part to continue when you feel uncomfortable or the egoic mind starts its fearful self-talk. Then remind yourself why you are making these changes to transform your life. Step five, become your authentic self. Transformation comes by consciously choosing to be your authentic self, which may look like you're altering your identity. What I mean by this is that others will see changes that they may not like, because you are no longer conforming to their expectations of who you're supposed to be to them. When you decide to follow your heart and not your egoic mind, your authenticity blossoms. By doing so, you end up being in places, situations, and conversations with people you love and enjoy the time as being well spent. You are attracting like-minded people and you feel fulfilled. Moreover, you're adhering to your core values and gaining assertiveness. This belief in yourself gives you the boldness and self-assurance to overcome any situation and keep the transformation progress going. For example, an artist stares at a blank canvas and wonders about new ways to add color to the scene. There is no emotional bond if they think of something to change. They just alter it. This is how you should see yourself, a work of art that is constantly developing. When you see something you don't like, there's no need to get frustrated or negative with yourself. Instead, just get to work and change it. Step six, allow for transformational learning. Reframing the stories you tell yourself is about changing your perspective and altering your behaviors. You're going to keep growing and learning every day. That's the journey of life. It also means you must regularly 
reinvent yourself. This reinvention process allows you to have endless opportunities because you are continuously growing. You see your limitless potential, therefore you keep reaching for the sun. And if you have some stormy weather, you allow the water to nourish you. Perspective matters when you are learning. So try something new. When you change an external component of your life, you can easily see its effects. Remember, outcomes are neither good nor bad. It provides data you need to make any accommodations to the ever-changing circumstances of life. Life is always reinventing, evaluating, and recreating itself. It's never-ending circle of transience. Therefore, you need to be flexible in how you move forward. Only the ego is stiff and rigid, wanting to cling to habits, predictability, and assurance. Try new things means you earn the rewards of transformation. Step number seven, gratitude alters perspective. Being grateful for what you have, the blessings currently in your life, allows you to have a more positive outlook. Gratitude causes your body to release endorphins, which makes you feel happy. It aids with stress management and is beneficial to your health. Gratefulness allows you to receive more in your life, both for yourself and to share with others. Giving shifts your state of being from one of scarcity to one of abundance. You develop a sense of belonging with another person, as well as a sense of significance in someone's life. This is biology, not philosophy. Your gratefulness helps you transform. True prosperity comes through this universal truth. Gratitude benefits your mind, body, and soul. It frees you from the prison of fear the egoic mind tries to instill in your life. It's easy to see the positive in one's life if you're looking. But it's a choice you have to make every day. Choose to implement a daily gratitude practice now so you can reap the benefits of its transformative power. Step eight, authentic connections cause transformation. You are both a student and a teacher. Every interaction you have with another can be transformational for one of you. When you help or encourage another, you too reap benefits because you give and you shall receive. So be open and honest with all interactions with others. Furthermore, surround yourself with the people who are honest and truthful. You want your trusted tribe to be brave individuals who will speak hard truths to you, but lovingly. Why? Because tough feedback is vital for your personal growth. Besides, you don't want negative people in your life. You want people who will encourage, inspire, and teach you. A supportive tribe of people is tremendous for your growth and overall well-being. You must surround yourself with a robust support system, both personally and professionally. These like-minded individuals will help you stay true to your authentic self. They push you to new horizons, and they teach you how to love and live in community. Moving forward while transforming. Deciding to change your life is pivotal. Even minor adjustments can have significant impact on who you are and how you live. Committing to improving your life and becoming a better version of yourself pays you in ways you never thought imaginable. Keep in mind that transforming is a process. It will not happen overnight. However, as you work towards your goals and your circumstances change, you see that what was once difficult becomes simpler. What was once a barrier is now a skill, and the level you thought you could never reach is now right in front of you. It is what you do, not what you intend to do, that will get you to your goal. Decide today to stretch yourself and embark on the path to becoming a better version of yourself. You can achieve anything you choose in life. I think today is an excellent day to start your transformation. As you become more conscious of your transformational power, you can alter the course of your life. Do you need help to unlearn those things that no longer serve you? Are you looking for support in making authentic connections? Do you want a strategy to help you create an extraordinary life? If so, please reach out to me and we can put together an action plan 
for you to transform your life and live authentically. To learn how I transformed my life, you can do so by reading my book, Raven Transcending Fear, available on Amazon, where you can go to raventranscendingfear.com for more information. Thanks for listening to Soul Solutions with Terry Kozlowski. If you'd like the show and want to learn more, check out terrykozlowski.com where you can find the links to everything we talked about in this episode. Please subscribe to the show so you'll never miss an episode as we overcome our fears and our limiting beliefs.